Okay, so sometimes we want to treat ourselves. Maybe we got a new job, a race at work, reached some fitness or weight goal, you know, close the deal or some other accomplishment in life. And some people might go out for drinks, you know, celebrate with a party, buy something expensive, uh, book a trip somewhere when you can actually travel, or, you know, perhaps a fancy dinner. So, you know, for me, I didn't do any of that. Uh, I just went for three pretty crazy burgers. And I didn't even accomplish anything actually as an excuse for having this burger. I just kind of wanted to get it out of the way in May so that I could, you know, start fresh in June. And, you know, I'm definitely a big fan of burgers, but obviously they're not exactly healthy nor cheap for that matters. Unless you go to like McDonald's or KFC, uh, but those are not exactly my favorites. And, you know, certainly cheap, but not good. So, okay, you've decided you're gonna splurge on a crazy burger meal. What can you do to mitigate the damage? So there are two secret keys to success here. Number one, the easiest, and also what makes this kind of boring, is to just skip the soda and, well, generally never go for soda ever, or any sugar drinks for that matter. Save that for when you really want it, like a beer or a wine or something, but just skip juices and soda. Or if you really have to, then go for like a diet or a zero version or whatever with no calories. And yeah, I know some people think, you know, they say they're bad for you. But if you have it like once a week or a month, you probably will be fine. And I do this sometimes, but generally very seldomly I drink soda. Okay, secret number two, skip the fries. So here in Hong Kong, we have a few chains of burgers. And the first one I'm going to hear is Five Guys. And their fries are famous for being fried in peanut oil and luckily or unluckily I'm actually allergic to peanuts so that is a given for me to skip. And they also, they also actually um, serve peanuts while you wait so well skip that as well. And of course if you skip the fries you also skip any sauce that normally comes with fries like ketchup so that's great as well. However I still want to treat myself to something apart from just the burger. So I went for a strawberry milkshake and basically I only drink milkshakes when I go here to Five Guys. So the last time was probably like six months ago for me. So I think it should be fine. With all that said, let's dig into it. So the burger is pretty greasy to say the least. It's literally like dr dripping fat and it feels like you need a shower after eating it. But holy cow, wow, that is a good burger. That's for sure. And despite you know cutting out the soda and fries, uh, the macros for this meal are pretty scary actually. This burger is 1,238 calories with 60 grams of protein, which is good, but 75 grams of fat and 45 grams of carbs. Then we have the milkshake, which I added strawberry and whipped cream into. So that comes out to 770 calories with 13 grams of protein, 34 grams of fat and 85 grams of carbs. So in total, that meal comes out to 2008 calories, 60 grams of protein, 75 grams of fat and 45 grams of carbs. So that's essentially a whole day of eating in one meal. Only two items, not even fries. Okay, so after this, we definitely need some walking to get to the next place and burn some calories. So here, going through central Hong Kong during the sun setting, and here in the clips you can also see some famous buildings that look quite iconic, like the Bank of China and HSBC ones. Uh, and actually on the way we're passing another Shake Shack here, but that one doesn't have as nice view as the place we're going to on top of the IFC Mall, which is like the second tallest building here in town with a pretty nice view, especially in the evening. And it's actually not even belonging to Shake Shack, so you can go here and bring your own food and drinks and just hang out here for free and eat some more healthy food. Uh, so that's a small pro tip for you. So at Shake Shack, I'm actually going to order the fries here because they have these extremely unhealthy cheese fries. Also, you can add some ketchup to make that complete madness a whole nice indulgence and the burger is a double smoke shack with the bacon inside and i add some lettuce and tomato just to feel uh, you know slightly more refreshing but holy moly this one is one spectacular indulgence that is for sure 
In my opinion, uh, Shake Shack definitely is better than Five Guys. Uh, Five Guys is just too greasy for me, and there's no lettuce or tomatoes. And actually, personally, I like when you have like avocado or blue cheese or onions inside as well, but you know, none of these have it. And the macros for the burger here comes out to 875 for the burger with uh, 58 grams of protein, 57 grams of fat, and 28 grams of carbs. And then we have the fries, uh, which are pretty lethal and pretty much gives you a cardiac arrest just by looking at them uh, with 710 calories, 12 grams of protein, 44 grams of fat, and 64 grams of carbs. So, you know, lastly, just to highlight how much better the two previous options were, uh, to what comes next, I'm gonna compare it to a classic uh, McDonald's here, which only has 550 calories with 25 grams of protein. So, you know, to wrap it up out of these, I definitely think that Shake Shack is my personal favorite. And the combo I had is quite a lot cheaper than the Five Guys 2, which in my opinion is uh, quite overpriced. And McDonald's, uh, it is just what it is, uh, certainly the most you know healthy option, if you want to put it that way, both in terms of calories and for the wallet, coming in at only 20.5 Hong Kong dollars. So basically, it's a fifth of the price of the others. So, that was my first episode of Cheat Eating. So if you like it and want me to see more of this madness, give me a like, uh, let me know in the comments, subscribe, and see you in the next video.